right now we are about seven nautical miles away from the VOR station. Uh, I'm going to go to the heading indicator and set the heading of 25 degrees, that's northeast. After flying about 8 nautical miles away from the VOR station, that's in about 30 to 40 seconds, I will turn left and line up the aircraft with the 25 degree course that we have just selected. And we will continue to fly along this course for about 4 to 5 minutes and we'll see what's going to happen after that. Now, pay attention that as we make this left turn here, the VOR needle will start uh, moving to the right. Let's see if we can um, explain this. Pulling up this map shows that so far we have flown 8 nautical miles outbound on the 115 degree course. And we just made a left turn um, in order to line up the aircraft with the 25 degree course. And as you can see, that as we start flying along this 25 degree course, the 115 degree course that's currently set into our VOR instrument will fall to a right. And that's why we see that deviation of the VOR needle to the right. Now keep in mind that the VOR instrument doesn't tell us anything about the heading of the aircraft. It just tells us whether a given course is located to our right or to our left. So looking at this map, let's see what we have done so far. We took off from LAX and we flew along the runway heading, which was 60 degrees. Then we made a right turn and we intercepted this 115 degree heading. We continued flying along this heading until we arrived at the VOR station. Then we continued by flying 8 nautical miles outbound and then we turned left in order to line the aircraft with the 25 degree heading and this is currently the heading that we are flying. Eventually, we want to come back to this VOR station, and if I put up this compass on the map, you'll see that in order to get back to the VOR station, we have to go south. Therefore, I will go to my VOR instrument and rotate the OBS knob until I have the south heading. We will continue flying along the 25 uh, degree course for 5 minutes and after 5 minutes what we want to do is to turn left so that we can intercept the south vector as soon as possible. But the question is which heading do we have to choose in order to intercept this south heading vector as soon as possible. Well, again, to intercept this course, we have to intercept it at a 90 degree angle. Look at your compass. Locate 25 degrees and then deduct 90 degrees. That will give you a heading of 295 degrees. So after our five minutes is finished along this 25 degree course, we will make a left we will line the aircraft with the 295 degree heading. We will fly in this direction until the VOR needle is centered again. That will show us that we have successfully intercepted with this south heading vector. Once the needle is centered, we will turn left again and line the aircraft up with this uh, south heading vector. 
that will eventually take us back to the VOR station. Right now we are about 0. nautical miles away from the VOR station so we're pretty close and as you can see the needle has become quite sensitive. We're going to continue flying along this vector until we arrive at the VOR station. Uh, after we arrive at this station we want to continue flying outbound for a little bit and then we're going to turn right and line up the plane with the 295 degree heading that's northwest. That course will eventually take us back to KLAX. So in order to do this, I'm going to go back to the VOR instrument, turn the OBS knob and select a heading of 295 degrees. Then I will go back to the heading indicator and um, select the same heading in my heading indicator as well. So let's just wait and um, pass over the VOR station fly outbound a little and then make that right turn and we'll go back to LAX.